Hello, I would like to demonstrate the powerful capability that Informatica provides in importing a existing power center mapping and with very few changes have the ability to run this on the Hadoop cluster. Let's take the look at this folder that I'm about to create into which the power center mapping is uh, going to be imported. So let's first go ahead and create this folder. Let's call that test folder 2. And in this folder, let's go ahead and import the power center mapping. The test folder is created in the developer tool and it has an import facility by which we can import power center mappings. So I select power center here and I provide the necessary credentials. I need to provide the host name in which the power center repository and the server set up, uh, the port number, the credentials, and the repository name from which we're going to import the power center mapping. Uh, there is an ability to choose different versions of power center. In this case, I choose power center 9.5.0. I have an ability to test the connection, but let me not use that functionality yet. And let me go ahead and actually connect to the repository to get to the folders. This provides me a view of all the sources, targets, and mappings that are available in that folder. In this case, I'm going to choose one particular mapping that involves pricing summary. And I'm going to import this mapping and bring it into a location that I just created the folder, test folder 2. So what I've just done is the ability to choose a particular mapping in Parcenter repository and choose a target folder in which I need to import it. Here are the two data objects that are related to the mapping that I want to import. One is regarding the um, source and the other is regarding the target. This is the step in the import process which allows me to associate a connection in the developer tool for the two uh, data objects that I'm about to import, the source and the target. So since both my source and target are Oracle tables, I'm going to associate an Oracle connection to these uh, data objects. If needed, I could do a conversion check and then I hit the finish button to start the import process. Okay, my import from Power Center is completed and I have all the data objects that are moved into the test folder 2 folder that I had created. I have the two data objects here, uh, the source and the target, reflecting the Oracle tables and then the actual mapping itself. Let me go ahead and open the mapping. In this case, you would see that this mapping uh, is reflective of uh, a TPCH query that's run on a uh, relational data source which has information on the part numbers, the supplier key, and the order key, and the order number, etc. And the intent of this query, or the intent of this mapping, is to aggregate information on all the products that have shipped, and the status of the shipment, and the discount price, and the discount uh, tax that are supplied, etc. So we've created a simple mapping here uh, to include an expression, sorter, and aggregator, to uh, calculate the various values needed for the output port. In this case, the ex expression has a very simple way to calculate the discount price and the discount tax. Um, I have the sorter that sorts the data on the return flag and the line status, information that's available in the Oracle table. I also have the target, which is an Oracle table. In this case, I could go to runtime and look at the, look at the fact that it's an Oracle source connection. Okay, so now that I have uh, the mapping available for me, I'm going to go ahead and run this mapping in the Hadoop cluster. In order for me to run this mapping in the Hadoop cluster, it's a very simple few steps that I need to follow. I click on the mapping canvas. I click on the advanced tab. I select Hadoop as the uh, validation environment because I'm going to turn around and use this entire mapping to run it on Hadoop. And then I click on the runtime option and I can either choose to run it on the native engine or on the Hadoop engine. Now this is a powerful example of how Informatica uh, gives you the ability to choose whether to execute data flows on Hadoop or other traditional data platforms to optimize processing and capacity 
as data volumes vary. For example, if you had 10 terabytes of data flowing through this mapping, then you would choose the environment type to be Hadoop because it offers more scalability and power in processing the data. But if the amount of data flowing through this was 10 gigabytes of data, then you would choose the traditional grid, which is the native engine. So in this case, to illustrate that we can take this mapping as is and run it on the Hadoop cluster, let me choose the execution environment as Hadoop. Okay, now that I've chosen the environment as Hadoop, I have to go ahead and associate a connection to connect to the Hadoop cluster. I have now a display of all the Hadoop connections that I had earlier created. It's important to note that we're going to use Hive as the translation language to push the execution of this mapping onto the Hadoop cluster. So all of these connections have Hive related details. So now I've chosen the Hive connection to push down the processing of this entire mapping onto the Hadoop cluster. And now all I have to do is right click on this mapping and run the mapping. Okay, now I'm going to run the mapping. While I'm running this mapping, I can go ahead and monitor the status of the mapping execution. And the effective use of how the mapping execution can be mapped to the, uh, or can be directly related to the execution of the jobs in the Hadoop cluster, we'll look at that right now. So let me go ahead and open the administrative console. In this case, it's a monitoring console dedicated for uh, monitoring the status of the various jobs that run. Let me log in again. This is the Informatica monitoring console to monitor the status of the jobs that are run from the developer client. I've just opened up the monitoring console and I click on jobs and it shows the currently running jobs. This is the pricing summary mapping that is currently running. It has multiple uh, scripts that are run as part of the mapping. In this case, there's one mapping that gets translated into multiple script, and each script internally gets translated into multiple Hive queries. Now, if needed, I can select the mapping itself and look at the overall Hive query plan for the mapping. It has information on uh, the mappers and the reducers that are set via the Hive connection. It also information on temporary staging tables in which data is staged in the Hadoop cluster. If needed, I could drill down into a particular Hive query that's executed in a particular script and look at the individual Hive query. In this case, it's insert overwriting data into a table, a temporary staging table. And I could also drill down into the details of the particular map reduced job that was run as part of executing this Hive query. I could drill down into the mapping task in this case. I could drill down into the logs. And I could actually take a look at the various logs that have been uh, that are there for the mapping task. So Informatica provides a very easy and flexible manner to monitor the status of jobs that are run on the Hadoop cluster uh, by correlating that and relating that to the mapping that's run in the Informatica Power Center product itself. So this brings me to, an, to the end of the demo. I would like to add that only Informatica provides the ability to uh, process data in Hadoop without all the data having to be staged in the Hadoop prior to processing. So we stream the data from the relational data source and bring it into the Hadoop cluster, process it in the Hadoop cluster, and then eventually we write it out into the target. It is also important for us to note that only Informatica enables you to reuse an existing power center mapping and deploy the execution on Hadoop, rapidly increasing time to delivery, and avoiding having to rebuild data flows for Hadoop. In this case, we just imported the power center mapping, and with very few clicks of the button, we're able to run this mapping on the Hadoop cluster using Hive as the connection source. Thank you very much for listening in on the demo.